hello to all my friends out there. So time for eating something. So I had some chamomile tea. This is a good one. I bought it at 90. This is a good tea and I got it for 99 cents. This is a good one. No caffeine. Uh oh, I better get my pan out of the oven. Uh -oh. Okay. Um, I want to tell you guys something about selling, buying and selling. Okay, the trick is to buy low. So I bought this watch. The thrift store wanted $20. I go, I don't think so. Not for a used watch. So I went back the next week and I was planning on buying it for $10 when it was half price. But... In between the time I left and the time I came back, the, the back had been snapped off. Either somebody took it off to look and see what was inside, or it fell off by itself. Okay, if somebody who's knowledgeable in watches snapped it off and saw it was a fashion watch and decided not to buy it, well, then it's not worth much. So I offered them $5, and they said no. And then, you know, I came back. And I said, are you sure you don't want to take $5 because the back was snapped off? So they said, okay. Um, I, I bought a used Seiko watch for my son and I took it to get um, a battery and, and it didn't start up right away. Uh, and I was walking back to try and get a refund, which they don't like to give even if it's right after you bought it. And it skipped two minutes and it started running and it's been running ever since. So that's the chance you take when you buy um, used watch. And, but I like these because these are like bracelet watches. I bought this watch. This is a nice watch. It really is. It's like a $100 watch. I bought it at the swap meet for $5. But I bought six. And then this is a nice bracelet watch. And I got it for $5. So the most dangerous time is when you're um, going to sell your stuff because I am very cautious when I go to sell because that is very counterproductive if you sell too cheap. It'd be better to hang on to it or try to sell it over a long period of time because if you wear down your inventory, then that puts you in a position to have to buy more stuff, which means you spend more money. So it, it went on these three watches, to double my money, I would have to uh, charge $15 for these watches, provided I can get a battery and they run. So I'm pretty sure each of these three watches I could sell for $15. I could sell them for a $15 this year, next year, so there's no big hurry to sell. So if you're if you're new, be careful uh, not to blow your inventory out. You know, cautiously approach your inventory. So okay, so now I cook some chorizo and I carefully cook some chorizo and I drain the grease. I use olive oil but I drain the grease. And so I have a little, chorizo goes a long ways, believe it or not. So now I have some rice, and so I'm on the biscuit thing. And I stuffed some biscuits uh, with um, textured soy and with uh, rice and cheese. And it was really, really good, and it was good the next day. So here's the chorizo. See, I just use a little bit. And so then I have some all these cheese. Okay, you could use anything. You could use little bites of ham. You could use sausage. You could use Vienna sausages. You could use anything you have. And the uh, thing about these are they're really, really good leftover. And what I did last time is I had quite a bit of cheese. This is some all these cheese. So I'm really liking this biscuit stuff.
and it's cheap too. Your biscuits are 10 cents each. Rice is cheap. Uh, these, um, I think these are these cheeses are about uh, 20 cents each, but they have cheese at Dollar Tree, but uh, this jalapeno jack cheese is gonna taste good with my cilantro. Uh, what I did is I just tipped my pan to the side and see I just blotted the oil off so as not to eat the oil in my uh, food. And this is going to make a lot of biscuits. I'm only making four. I have other uses for the biscuits. I will stuff some uh, Coupon Girl. Let me see. Let me heat this just for a minute. Coupon Girl left a really good uh, message. Why not try um, chocolate pudding in biscuits? I thought, yeah, like some donuts. So see how this is more than enough chorizo? Uh, let me see here. I have my spices in baggies so as to avoid dust and contamination. I think I'll add a little dry cilantro. So this is one of those things you want to uh, stockpile if you should have to. Um, you should have to eat beans. And this will be good with some little glasses of tea. I'll just tap it for a couple minutes, a couple seconds, just to get it warm. And so I located the cheapest biscuits I could find, 10 for um, a dollar at 99 cent only. Yeah, so this is good. I only heated about 15 seconds. So um, you can go light on the meat if you have cheese. Or you can go heavy on the meat if you want. Okay, so now I just want to take my biscuit. These biscuits are good. If they've been in the refrigerator for a while, like the ones I had last night, what you can do is you can just uh, use those to tear up and put in soup like dumplings. Okay, ooh, better be careful with my watch. So if you buy your um, your inventory, uh, whatever your inventory is, and you buy it low, chances are you are going to get your money back. You're not going to lose money. You might not be able to get your money. Sometimes it takes a while. You know, when I do the swap meet, uh, even at the swap meet, it would take a while for me to sometimes get my money back. But uh, there's like next to no no chance you're going to lose your... Okay, so see how I have a nice little biscuit and I, I have some shortening. And what is really, really tasty is to uh, put egg, egg yolk on top. And this is going to be good with some... If you were really, really hungry and you had some of that egg drop um, top ramen soup, you know, that would be good. But this is just a snack. I'm actually going to eat dinner. Okay, so I'm going to make four of these, and I will be back. <laughs> 